What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here in Fort Collins, Colorado at Colorado State with my guy, Nash. Nash, what's going on, man? What's going on, bro? How you doing? I'm doing good. Nice to meet you, man. So tell me, where are we at? I know Colorado State is, it's a, it's a crown jewel of Colorado as far as universities and institutions. You guys have something amazing here. But where are we specifically right now? So right now we're in the Mark Lee Hall of Champions. So this this space here is kind of our memorabilia trophy room uh, honoring, you know, next level Rams, all Americans, um, not just of football, but just of other sports. Our uniforms, some of our annual award winners um, and then just past great Rams. Awesome. Awesome. And for those who don't know about Colorado State's athletic history, um, what are you to tell someone who first walks in here? Like, where would you go? to let them know about the history of Colorado State. So the first place I would go would be right here at the State of Champions wall. So I would go over here and I would highlight people like Becky Hammond, you know, so she just won a title with the Las Vegas Aces and the WNBA in her first season. You know, she spent time in the NBA with the Spurs. Then I would also point him to, you know, right here with Trey McBride. So Trey, you know, kind of a pride right here for the CSU Rams. Um, he was the John Mackey Award winner, you know, best tight end in college football last season. He was the first tight end taken off the board in this last year's draft, went second round to the Arizona Cardinals. And then I would point him right over here to Mr. Greg Myers, who's a uh, Thorpe Award winner. Not too many places can say they've got a Thorpe Award winner. And he went to Windsor High School, which is right down the road. So, you know, he's from Windsor, Colorado, played here at CSU, won the Thorpe Award, and then he went on to have a career in the NFL. So you, as you can see, a lot of homegrown talent comes right here to CSU. Awesome, awesome. And let's make our way uh, right over here to the right of us. You guys have some amazing uniform combinations. You know, as you can see, we've got kind of got our classic, you know, green and gold. Those are the current colors of CSU. But in the past, you know, you're kind of drawn right here. So not just this orange, but it's called pumpkin and alfalfa. Um, so it's not just orange and green, it's that pumpkin and alfalfa. And you'll notice the A, and some people are questioning, you know, why is it A if it's CSU? Because it used to be Colorado A&M. So they used to be the Colorado A&M Aggies, but now we're the Colorado State Rams. It's kind of funny too, our mascot came the Ram. We've got a live Ram that walks around game days. C-A-M doesn't just rhyme with the name Ram. C-A-M is Colorado A&M. Which uh, one does the uh, recruits seem to enjoy the most out of all of these? They like those. They like those because the helmets, the helmets are real clean. They've got kind of the, the angry ram on the side with the nice stripes, you know, and the color contrast between pumpkin and orange. They really like that. But we've also got our state pride that we wear these once a year, you know, so we've got, you know, the Colorado state flag on the sleeves with the yellow, the red and the blue. Um, so they get kind of drawn to this just because it's a little bit different and unique to us. Definitely, definitely. Now, Nash, you talked about some of the individual awards that you guys have accumulated from some of your players. What about some of the team awards, the team trophies that you guys have accumulated? Is there one that kind of sticks out more than the others? Right. So we've got, you know, the New Mexico Bowl uh, kind of stands out. I actually think this one's pretty cool because it almost looks like it's a hand painted uh, bowl right there. You know, the champion New Orleans Bowl, you know, New Mexico Bowl champs. So, you know, we got a couple, you know, team team trophies right now, but we're definitely trying to stack more. We are so busy these days with work being in full swing, eating, let alone cooking, can be the last thing on our mind. Understanding that, we have figured out a tasty and time solution to this quandary. Factor Meals. In a wellness market full of unrealistic diet plans, Factor is a welcomed and new approach to prepared food. Factor Meals include gourmet chef prepared meals with premium ingredients. Meals made with integrity. Factor supports fresh, wholesome eating made simple. Meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 25 plus meal options and Factor Plus add-ons. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preferences and meal history. Head to go.factor75.com slash sports60 and use code sports60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. All right, Nash, Player Lounge. What is the favorite thing for the players to do here? Biggest thing that I've seen, <laughs> sleep. You know, a bit, you know, they got to get their rest. They got to, you know, relax, get off their feet when it's after practice, after workout, after lift. You know, I've seen players in here play Xbox, play PlayStation, just kick it and watch a game right here. But we also hold a Bible study in here. That's a player led Bible study, you know, so they'll congregate in here. I've seen them, you know, share meals, 
you know, our corners go at each other on the ping pong table, on the pool table. So, you know, there's some phase that get caught up in the area, a lot of competing, but you know, a lot of it's just relaxing. You know, this is a space for them. You know, we stress that with our players. Like this is, the room is not for us, it's for y'all. So just come up in here, get off your feet and just enjoy each other's company. Yeah, so right now we're at the barber shop. Our guy, Derek Roybo, he comes in every week, cuts us up, usually on Thursdays. Sometimes we'll move it around, you know, if we've got a shorter week or a longer week or he's got stuff going on. But without fail, every week, Derek comes in and cuts the staff, cuts the players. Coach does his thing every week, Thursday at 11 o'clock on the dot, he's getting cut. So if you're looking for coach around that time, odds are he's in the chair with Derek. All right, Nash, uh, walk me through a typical day uh, in Colorado State football as far as the weight room like how often are you guys in here how long what's being done typically our guys lift in two big groups so it's one you know one group's in the morning and then one group will be after practice so we even have guys lift after practice um but it's usually about three to four times a week in season and then out of season you know it's obviously maybe five maybe six times in a week we're getting guys you know runs lifts um and then we've also got treatment uh, obviously in the uh, training room, but we also have strength coaches specifically for recovery, uh, flexibility. And so, you know, sometimes we'll turn the lights down low. We'll do yoga in here, just time to, you know, again, get off your feet, relax, get the lactic acid out. Um, so, you know, we get a lot of things done in this space right here. One thing I noticed is it's very spacious, like, you know, high ceilings, love the, the fans, the light coming in. Uh, and I just heard that you guys actually put those bars in. I'm gonna put you on the spot again. Can you show us one of the drills that are done? <laughs> can I show you? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna mimic what would be done. So as you can see, this weight room, you know, some people got waterfalls, some people got big screen TVs. Right. This is a no frills weight room. Yeah. You know, I don't know how those things make you a better football player, right. but you know, Coach Norvell likes to take it back to the basics and you know play the hits. So we've got you know monkey bars that guys got to go from one end all the way up down to the other and you get that done. And then I wanna say that's done at the beginning of the workout. And then at the end, you gotta come over here, you gotta climb this rope and we're getting bells put up there. You gotta get up there and you gotta ring the bell. So, you know, like I said, no frills, taking it back to the basics, you know, monkey bars, climbing rope, things like that. You know, this is the first thing you see when you walk in. So you gotta know when you walk in here, it's time to work. And this is one of the biggest training areas I've seen uh, for an FBS program. We've got about 10 taping tables, about eight, um, you know, therapy tables. Um, and then we've got, obviously we've got the four hydrotherapy pools. We've got hot tub, two cold tubs, and then we've got the recovery tubs. So we've got eight cameras in that recovery tub. We've got a treadmill on the bottom um, and we can raise the level of that water up to neck deep to right about knee deep for any type of injuries that we're rehabbing with, uh, with Greg and Lee in here. All right, Nash, I, I love the green on green background with the chairs, very monochromatic look. What goes on in here besides the chewing out and the uh, <laughs> the watching of tape? So uh, full team meetings. So this room can seat everybody in the program comfortably, you know, 140 plus people, coaches, staff, players, everybody. Um, so we'll have full team meetings. We'll have guest speakers come. So we've had pro scouts. We've had business owners from the area come speak to our guys about you know, if you're interested in this or that, this is how you can build personal brand, networking, things like that. So professional development meetings for our players. And then we can split the room. Actually, we've got this artificial wall right here. You just press a button, it comes down, sound proofs both sides of the room. So we can have offense on one side, defense on the other, and you can't hear each side going on. Right here, do your job, trust each other, trust the plan. So we've got that on both sides of the team room. Everybody in the program has signed that from players to coaches to staff. You know, everybody signs it and that means that they're bought in. Everybody's here to do those three things. And we even take them on the road with us too. So we try and bring a little bit of peace of home with us on the road, help our guys, you know, get that extra motivation and go get the dub. All right, now we're here with Matt, the assistant AD of equipment. Matt, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good, George. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now we just talked uh, to Nash about some of the equipment, uh, uniform combinations earlier. We're now here in the locker room. I'm, I'm assuming you dress this up pretty much every, I guess, 24 hours before a game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have this place looking good. Awesome. Awesome. What does it take? Like, t walk me through that entire operation of setting it up. Yeah, we've, I've got an incredible staff. I got another full time guy's name, Nick Bergstrom. Together, we've got 11 student managers. These guys are really the backbone of our program and the, and the foundation of what we do. These guys handle everything for this team. They handle jerseys, helmets, shoulder pads, pants, leg pads, cleats. 
uh, undershirts, uh, headbands, you name it. If it's got a UA logo on it, we find a way to get it to the players. Definitely, definitely. And is there a helmet that uh, the team prefers over any of the other ones you guys? I, I think it's this one. I think it's the Angry Ram. Uh, this was my baby and my project. I'm really happy to have it out there. Um, just kind of a, a, a throwback deal for our Ag Day game. And, uh, something different, something unique uh, that kind of breaks from the mold of what we do at CSU. Let's look through uh, one of the lockers uh, individually. Uh, kind of want to see the functionality of it. Yeah, so up top, we've got shoulder pad space. Guys can really put whatever, shoulder pads, spiders, cleats. Uh, so you guys are our boots, whatever they need. Uh, in here is a lockbox area. So inside guys can keep personal items. There's plugs, USB ports, uh, plenty of space to keep playbooks, uh, extra power aids, whatever they want. A couple of hanging spaces, a hanging bar in the middle so that we can display jerseys and other things and make them look nice. And then in the bottom, uh, plenty of storage space for footwear and whatever else guys need. How is it working with Under Armour? They're fantastic. Uh, we just re-signed another five-year contract with them, so uh, at the conclusion of it, it'll be almost 12 years that we've been with them. Great partner to work with, really take care of us and everything that we could possibly do. All right, Nash, what is the uh, the go-to meal here? Go-to meal here, man, that's tough. We get a wide variety here. Sometimes we'll have, you know, Greek shrimp, barbecue, breakfast. I mean, it's, it's a lot you can go with. I sometimes, I like the Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak ain't bad. Grilled chicken is always spot on every day. Sometimes we do steak. I mean, really, you can't go wrong. Biscuits and gravy. I mean, we get a little bit of everything going on in here. Is it a method to the madness or is it like you guys have like a steak night, a shrimp night, or is it just kind of whatever? So it's kind of it's kind of just a mixed bag. It's a shuffle. Now, I will say on Tuesdays, uh, we get stuff catered. So we'll have Chick-fil-A. We'll have Raisin Cane's. Sometimes we'll do Wing Shack. So our guys love when we bring the wings in. Um, you know, so again, a little bit of everything. No real, you know, rhyme or reason or schedule, but you just kind of show up after practice and say, you know, what's what's going on with training table. Right, right. Let's let's kind of touch on the aesthetics of this spot, the light fixtures, backsplash, and this amazing whatever it is here is just a, a, a nice branding element. So, you know, the design of this is obviously, you know, multifunction. So, you know, if you were to look at this space from that front door, you see this giant Ram logo looking right back at you. But, you know, this, spe this space is used on game days. We've got donors, parents, faculty in here. We've got high top tables, we've got chairs. You know, we've got full bar going on here for refreshments. Um, and then we can even open up these garage doors right here. Um, and you get, you know, the whole sound of the game going on right there with you. All right, Nash, I'll be honest. I didn't expect the stadium to be this large. Describe the atmosphere in here, man. These fans are passionate. You know, like I said, you know, they're hungry for a winner and they're hungry to support their Rams. So, you know, we get a really good show out, especially the students. So the students fill up that whole side and it bleeds over into about halfway through that bowl, you know, almost packed all the way to the to the uh, concourse. So the students show out heavy, the fans show out, you know, and like I said, they're just ready to see you know, exciting ball and see some wins. Awesome, awesome. And you guys have a brand new kind of seating area over there. Yeah, so the New Belgium Porch. So New Belgium Brewing was uh, founded right here in Fort Collins. Uh, they're, you know, they're a national brewing company now, but, you know, they hooked this place up real nice. They've got TVs. We've got, you know, beer on tap over there for, you know, for adults. And, you know, it's a really nice space for people that's standing room, you know, so they can come right up there to the stanchion and just watch the game or, you know, enjoy it, you know, sitting down there watching TV. But it's a really nice touch to the stadium. Can you explain that big thing, the opposite of this, <laughs> whatever that is? Yeah, so that Jumbo, Jumbotron, you know, that's our screen. It's the biggest in the conference, you know, biggest one in the Mountain West Conference. Um, and what's funny is uh, Moby Arena, our basketball court can fit right on that screen, you know, just to put a little bit of perspective on that thing right there. Yeah, that is amazing. It's awesome to see. Well, uh, Nash, we really appreciate you guys kind of showing us Colorado State and everything that you guys have to offer, man. It seems like you guys are on the rise. Like you have the facilities, you have the uniforms. It's uh, time to get it going. Man. Absolutely, the future's focal. That's what they're saying around awesome, here. Awesome, man. Appreciate you, Nash. Of course.